Bluestone supervolcano, new super eruption discovery that finds that it's one of the top five eruptions of all time. New Yellowstone eruption evidence unearthed, including one believing that the, it's the fifth largest volcanic eruption of the Earth. Beneath Yellowstone's geysers and hot springs, we have one of the Earth's most destructive volcanoes. There are those that say this is the second largest supervolcano of the Earth. There's about 20 supervolcanoes worldwide. Yellowstone supervolcano has erupted at least 10 times over the past 16 million years, permanently altering the geography of North America, as well as warping our planet's climate. Now we know that it's gone, the eruptions have gone along the uh, south west towards the northeast along the Snake River Plain, where we have Idaho, the Idaho uh, uh, crater, uh, crater of the Moon area, where we have the quake swarms going on recently. The new discovery of two ancient super eruptions, including a single largest in the hotspot history, reveals an unexpected result. It shows that the supervolcano's activity is likely abating. Yellowstone researchers made the discovery after analyzing a new tract of volcanic rock spewed up by this volcano, volcano hotspot. We know that there's a mantle plume running into Yellowstone from the mantle plume coming from Baja, California, coming up through uh, Salt Lake City, going north towards Yellowstone, then turning west towards Idaho craters of the moon. The western part of that same mantle plume is under San Andreas in California and the Walker Lane fault system. Now, according to the study's authors, the new finding rewrites the hotspot's ancient history. Dr. Thomas Knott of University of Leicester in the UK is a volcanologist and the study's co-author, and he says it seems the Yellowstone hotspot has experienced a threefold decrease in its capacity to produce super-eruption events. He says it's a very significant decline. The Yellowstone hotspot resides beneath 1,530 square miles or 4,000 square kilometers stretch of Yellowstone National Park that's northwest Wyoming into Montana and Idaho. While the enormous heat source fuels the park's most iconic features such as Old Faithful Geyser, it's not always been there. Earth's ever-shifting tectonic plates left a trail of ancient volcanic wreckage behind it. The largest, most catastrophic of these eruptions are called super eruptions. These Earth's shuddering blasts measure eight or higher on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, or VEI, which measures a volcano's relative explosivity, explosivity by the height of its ash column and the volume of the leftover lava. The 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens measured a 5 on the VEI, and because the scale is logarithmic, a level 8 super eruption is about a thousand times more explosive. The most recent Yellowstone super eruptions, the last one, happened about 630,000 years ago and formed much of the modern geography of the park. Another eruption occurred about 2.1 million years ago, then 1.3 million years ago. Now, since, since the uh, we also had another lava eruption 70,000 years ago and another 80 eruptions since then, but they were not, of course, super eruptions. Now, before this, the eruption history gets murkier when the latest research suggests that at least four other super eruptions occurred over the past 12 million years. Finding evidence for specific eruptions is difficult with significant volcanic deposits tending to overlap. The latest study saw researchers attempt to in the most uh, in-depth analysis of North America's ancient volcanic rock tracks ever conducted. The team correlated wide separating volcanic deposits in Idaho and even Nevada with uh, seven characteristics, including the rock's color, age, its chemical composition, and the polarity of magnetic minerals. We recently had earthquakes in Nevada, just east of the Long Valley Caldera, the supervolcano of California, and of course Nevada is strewn with uh, volcanoes. It's got a lot of volcanic fields there. Now, the research revealed concerning Yellowstone, a, sh a smattering of volcanic deposits previously attributed to a series of small eruptions resulting from two 
gargantuan huge ones. The oldest, called the McMullen Creek Super Eruption, occurred about 9 million years ago over a 4,600 square mile or 12,000 square kilometer stretch of what is now southern Idaho. And that's where we've been having the recent quake swarms. Now, a second called the Gray's Landing Super Eruption about 8.72 million years ago it was absolutely colossal in terms. The team wrote it was huge. This eruption covered about 8,900 square miles or 23 square kilometers of what is now southern Idaho and northern Nevada, making it the single largest eruption of the Yellowstone hotspot ever detected. Dr. Knott said, the Great Landing super eruption is one of the top five eruptions of all time. It enameled the area the size of New Jersey in shearing hot volcanic glass that instantly sterilized the land surface. Particulates would have choked the stratosphere, raining fine ash over the entire of the United States and gradually encompassing the whole Earth. This epic eruption appears to have been about 30% larger than the hotspot's next biggest eruption, which happened 2.1 million years ago. There are now six recorded super eruptions that occurred during the Miocene epoch between 23 million and 5.3 million years ago, and these eruptions happen on average every 500,000 years, the researchers wrote. And by comparison, the two super eruptions that occurred since then are separated by 1.5 million years. This is by Tom Fish on Express UK. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, and Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.